Good morning, everyone. We are in Los Angeles this morning, bright and early for the Union Station Train Festival taking place September 9th and 10th. It's Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if you miss it, still plenty to see here at Union Station. We'll show you all around Union Station if you've never been here. It is one of the most architecturally beautiful buildings in Los Angeles. You can come on in, even without a train ticket, visit the shops, the restaurants, grab a bite to eat, grab a little cocktail, some drinks, and just wander around and take in one of the most historic sites in Los Angeles. Right now we're on a Metrolink train. We're gonna take a tour of this, go over to see the Amtrak, and then we'll meet some local officials from the California High Speed Rail Authority, Metro, Metrolink, and Amtrak. All right, well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Train Fest 2023. It's a celebration of the past, present, and future of train travel throughout the Southern California region. I'm Conan Chung, Chief Operations Officer at LA Metro, and we're delighted to be here with riders, train enthusiasts, and everyone else across the region to celebrate today. Union Station is Metro's home and we're excited to have our partner agencies here to talk about what's new, where we've come from, and where we're headed. So what's new? Well, the long-awaited regional connector opened recently in June, linking the A, E, and the L lines through the heart of downtown LA. And that means that people can travel between Azusa and Long Beach or Santa Monica and East LA on a one seat ride, which means no transfers required. The project also included three new stations at Little Tokyo Arts District, uh, Bunker Hill, and the historic Broadway station. And those stations have become destinations in itself with dynamic artwork commissioned by Metro's art department and designed by local artists. So when we think about where we've come Metro is happy to report that our post-pandemic ridership is really climbing. The August numbers aren't in yet, but in July, we're happy to celebrate our eighth consecutive month of ridership increases year over year. And in fact, we saw over 23 million riders on our bus and rail system that month. So in fact, with the higher weekend ridership, we are actively promoting people using transit to get to museums, concerts, sporting events, and other special events throughout the region. So Train Fest is a wonderful celebration of America's most enduring mode of transportation. One that has endured and continued to be an essential means of transportation throughout the region for today and into the future. So please enjoy yourselves today. So at this time, I'd like to welcome Jeannie Cantu, Vice President of Amtrak California to the podium. Thank you. Today at LA Train Festival, we're excited to celebrate the past, the present, and the future of rail travel, where the journey has always been about more than just the destination. For generations, trains have taken us where we want and where we need to go, including school, work, to visit friends and family. Trains matter because they connect us to one another. As the nation's primary inner city passenger rail provider and high speed rail provider, Amtrak is proud to call this station, this historic gem, our shared home. We currently serve customers on overnight trains, including the Coast Starlight, Southwest Chief, Sunset Limited, as uh, Texas Eagle, almost forgot one, as well as the frequent Pacific Surfliner trains. In Southern California, Amtrak, Metro, Metrolink, and LOSAN work together to carry millions of passengers a year through Los Angeles Union Station. This station represents a vital landmark to our community, but it continues to welcome visitors every day to the heart of one of the greatest cities in America. We're happy to be part of it. More people on trains not only reduces car traffic and the emissions that come with that, but it drives local economies, provides transportation options that just don't exist today. But the best is yet to come between state investment and federal investment in rail through the IIJA, we have a once in a lifetime, once in a generation, opportunity to bring in a new era of rail. With a lot more train service with our partners, 
but also a whole new fleet of train equipment for Amtrak. We're made for this moment. We'll see you on board. We saw the budget accommodations, but this would definitely be the, the car I would have <laughs> I would have rented. My favorite I Love Lucy episode is where they're leaving Hollywood going back to New York and they decide to take the train back. Lucy thinks there's a jewel thief on board. <laughs> this 1950s rail car is just giving me vibes of I Love Lucy. So much fun. And a huge thank you to Barry who gave us a tour inside too. My name is Darren Kettle. I'm the Chief Executive Officer uh, for Metrolink or the Southern California Regional Rail Authority. Uh, I am a lifelong Southern California resident and um, I'm actually also not just to my, the CEO of Metrolink, I'm also a regular rider. I live in Ventura County and regularly take our trains um, from the station in Camarillo, right here to Los Angeles Union Station, almost on a daily basis, but at least a couple times a week. The first time I set foot in the station was right around 1976, and I got on board um, I, when I was with my grandparents, and that, um, they were taking a train, uh, one of Jeannie's trains, one of the longer distance Amtrak trains, uh, to Denver, because they were afraid to fly. That was 1976, and this place looked entirely different than it does today with the amount of volume and activity that you see coming through the doors on a regular basis. You'll certainly see a lot of people here today, no question about it, but if you were to show up here on a weekday, in the morning, or in the evening, you will see this very much a hub of activity. So if you're not super familiar with Metrolink, we are a six county system, 545 service miles, um, stretching through those six counties on 66 stations. We're the third largest regional passenger rail system in the country, and we're gonna to continue to grow. But I'm also hoping you'll take some time to go and look at one of our really pretty brand new F-125 locomotives. They're um, a tier four cleanest burning locomotives in the country, and we operate those locomotives with renewable fuel, renewable diesel. There is not petroleum diesel in our 40 um, tier four locomotives that you will get a chance to experience at least seeing one of them today. So both Metrolink and Amtrak kind of a special place in my heart. I grew up in Simi Valley and I remember when the Simi Valley Metrolink station opened when they first introduced Metrolink back in the 90s. So excited to ride the train all over. And Amtrak, ever since I was a little kid, we would take field trips from Simi Valley. We would actually get on the train in Simi Valley, go down to Union Station to go back up to Ventura and Santa Barbara just so we could ride the trains. I remember coming here in elementary school at White Oak, getting off in Union Station going, wow, this is so cool. So it's kind of nice to be back here how many years later? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I've been here since, but it's just kind of nostalgic and brings back some memories from elementary school.
some of the things that we're working on. We have a new program that's sort of been rebranded. We call it, call it Mobility for All. Anybody with an EBT card can use that card to receive a 50% discount on any train ticket that you were to get for Metrolink System. Um, we also are looking forward to Clean Air Day right around the corner on October 4th. And we have a bunch of major capital projects that we're excited about. Conan mentioned the 2028 Olympics. We are going to be the regional backbone system to bring people to Los Angeles. And then it's going to be Conan's job and his boss, Stephanie Wiggins, to make sure they get to all of the venues here in Los Angeles area. And then lastly, just as a teaser, in the fall, later this month, hopefully by October, we're going to be launching our student free ride program, generally targeted to college students. Anybody with the .edu email address will be able to sign up for a program, and every day you will get a daily pass that you just have to activate and board our trains and take it anywhere in Southern California. And thank you everyone for being here. I'm LaDonna DiCamillo. I am the Regional Director for the High Speed Rail Authority. Uh, we're thrilled to be participating in Train Fest this year. It's important because Union Station has been a part of rail history for over 80 years, and it represents the past, present, and the future of rail travel. High Speed Rail is building that future. Since 2008, when voters directed High Speed Rail Authority to connect San Francisco to Los Angeles, we've cleared, environmentally cleared, 422 of our 500 mile phase one line. And we're really excited to be under construction and design and construction on 171 miles in the Central Valley. We're actually in the process of procuring some train sets so we'll have train sets that will be ready to operate for, uh, for test runs around 2028. So we're very excited about the progress that we're making. Um, and then when we come into Southern California, our trains will come into Union Station. It's a vital link for Southern California to the Central Valley and to San Francisco and Northern California. So that's what the future looks like, transportation agencies partnering together for smoother, faster, and more convenient Southern California. This is absolutely amazing being able to tour all these trains. We'll put the information down in the description, so if you want to come out next year if you missed it this time around. And there are a lot of people waiting to get in. Don't be fooled by the lack of people. We're here before the event opens. There is a massive crowd waiting downstairs. So. taking a look at all the trains out here on the platforms on track 13, 14, and 15. So we're going to head back inside Union Station. There's a model train display, a bunch of other things to see. Then on the south uh, patio, they have some booths set up from various vendors. And again, if you missed the event this weekend, we'll post information on when the next one is. But you're always welcome to come down here to Union Station and check out the building itself, the restaurants, the snacks, get grab a drink. Then right across the street is Alvera Street in Chinatown, so plenty to see when you come on down here. And take the train down. Like I said, there is a good crowd waiting to come in. As you can see, there are a variety of places to eat. There's cilantros, there is a Robex Subway, what else, Starbucks, and the Trax, which is a restaurant and bar. I've eaten there, it's actually really, really good. The Metro is giving away free day passes. You can ride the Metro all day. That is it here from Union Station for Train Fest 2023. If you're unable to make it out this weekend, we'll put the 
link down in the description for the website so you can check out 2024. Take the Metro, Amtrak, Metrolink, I'm down here at Union Station, explore the train station itself, then walk over to Alvera Street, which is directly across the street, grab some taquitos at Cielito Lindo, or head over to Felipe's for their famous French dip. It's the birthplace of the French dip. Right across the street, short walk. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and follow us on social media. That is it from Union Station on this warm <laughs> Saturday morning.